there are eight vaccines being used right now to protect humanity from the deadly effects of COVID-19. This video will discuss the profile of each vaccine based on the data provided by the Department of Health. Data is updated as of August 9, 2021, so let's get to know the COVID-19 vaccines on the DOH current portfolio. Stay tuned and watch the video to know more. Welcome to Denzi TV. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you receive updates as they are posted. To discuss each vaccine, we will be looking at the following profile components. Technology platform, the underlying technology used in the development of the vaccine. Issuance of Emergency Use Authorization, or EUA, by the Philippine Food and Drug Administration, or FDA. Age group covered. How many doses and interval in which each dose is taken? How well it will do in preventing symptomatic and severe COVID-19? And common side effects you can expect following the latest Phase 3 clinical trials data. Let's start the list with Novavax. Technology platform is protein subunit. FDA EUA approval, not yet approved. Therefore, age group covered is also not yet determined. For dose and frequency, two doses and 21 days apart. Vaccine efficacy, 89.7% at least seven days after the second dose. 100% prevention against hospitalization and death. 86.3% against alpha variant and 96.4% against non-alpha variants. For common side effects, tenderness or pain on the injection site, headache, muscle pain, fatigue, and fever. Second on our list is the Moderna vaccine. Platform used is mRNA. FDA EUA approval was granted May 5, 2021, and the age group covered is 18 years old and above. Dose and frequency, two doses, 28 days apart, and efficacy, 94.1% against symptomatic COVID-19 and 100% against severe COVID-19. Side effects, pain, swelling on injection site, fever, headache, fatigue, vomiting, and chills. Number three on our list is the Barak Biotech vaccine. Platform used is inactivated virus. FDA approval was granted on April 19, 2021 for the age group 18 years old and above. It has two doses and 28 days apart. And as for efficacy, there are several studies stating that 77.8% against symptomatic COVID-19 after second dose, 93.4% against severe symptomatic COVID-19, 63.6% against symptomatic infection, 65.2% against Delta variant, and 90.1% against Kappa variant. Side effects include headache, fatigue, fever, body ache, nausea, and vomiting. Number four on the list is Janssen vaccine from Johnson & Johnson. Platform used is viral vector non-replicating. FDA approval granted on April 19, 2021 for the age group 18 years old and above. The Janssen vaccine is a single-dose vaccine, and the efficacy, 66.1 to 66.9% against confirmed moderate to severe or critical COVID-19, and another study states that it's 76.7 to 85.4% effective against severe COVID-19. Side effects include injection site pain, redness, swelling, tiredness, headache, muscle pain, chills, fever, and nausea. Number five on our list is the Sputnik V vaccine. Platform used is viral vector non-replicating. 
FDA approval was granted on March 19, 2021 for the age group 18 years old and above. The Sputnik V is a two-dose vaccine and 21 to 42 days apart. Efficacy, 91.6% against symptomatic COVID-19 and 100% against moderate or severe cases. As for side effects, pain on injection site, hyperthermia, swelling, headache, asthenia, muscle joint pain, sore throat, diarrhea, loss of appetite, nasal congestion, cold, sneezing, and cough. So as so far, this vaccine has the most number of side effects. Number six on our list is the Sinovac CoronaVac. Platform used is inactivated virus. FDA approval, February 22, 2021, for the age group 18 years old and above. Sinovac is a two-dose vaccine 28 days apart. As for efficacy, 51% against symptomatic COVID-19, 83.5% against symptomatic COVID-19 14 days after the second dose, and 100% against severe COVID-19 and hospitalization. Common adverse events reported are the following. Local lymphadenopathy at injection site, allergic reaction caused by vaccine components, or convulsion with or without fever. Number seven is the Oxford AstraZeneca. Technology platform used viral vector non-replicating. FDA approval granted on January 28, 2021 for the age group 18 years old and above. AstraZeneca is a two-dose vaccine 4 to 12 weeks apart. Vaccine efficacy 70.4% to 81.3% against symptomatic COVID-19 14 days after second dose. 81.3% if dose interval is 12 or more weeks and 100% against severe COVID-19. Common side effects include injection site pain and tenderness, fatigue, headache, and feverishness. And the last but not the least, number 8, is the Pfizer BioNTech technology use, mRNA, same with the Moderna vaccine, FDA approval. January 14 and May 31, 2021, that covers the following age group, 12 years old and above. Pfizer is a two-dose vaccine 21 days apart. Efficacy, 95% against symptomatic COVID-19. This is from the clinical trial done for 16 years old and above, and 100% against symptomatic COVID-19 from the clinical trial done for 12 years old to 15 years old. As for the adverse effects, we have short-term mid to moderate pain at injection site and swell as fatigue and headache. And those are the eight COVID-19 vaccines we have so far. May this contribute to our knowledge of the vaccines and hopefully we can have more people inoculated so we can be protected from severe illness. Thank you so much for watching. If you find the content of this channel valuable, remember to subscribe. Feel free to check out the other videos as well.